Guys, um, pretty volatile day today. Indeed, absolutely. I think this um, just uh, reflects to a certain extent what we heard before, of course, um, the weak Chinese data. But I think overall the story is more that we see that all of the global um, developments, I think, in the markets right now are purely liquidity driven. Um, they are not any longer, I think, underpinned by uh, fundamentals, in particular here in Europe, of course, but I think also elsewhere um, in the global economy. So I think we must live in that kind of environment. We must live with that kind of volatility that we have seen overnight. Some sort of corrections will always take place. Do you think this will spook the Fed and others, but especially the Fed, do you think this will spook them into actually staying away from the exit strategy? I mean, they've opened the door, they've seen what's on the other side, and they won't like it. Well, I mean, rising asset prices was always one of the key issues that um, Bernanke has always said that is important to drive, um, you know, the stimulus into the real economy. So, of course, um, if you see large and sustained corrections in equity markets, then that might certainly, I think, filter in to the assessment of the Fed. But I think now these are daily, you know, developments, and I'm sure that um, overall, I think we're probably seeing um, further rises in equity prices simply because we have that massive, you know, wave of global liquidity in the markets. Um, so, in principle, I think, if these losses are not sustained, I would say that it has not really an impact on the Fed's assessment. They are looking really on the labor market, how it is improving. They have been positive on that side. So if that continues, then I think the Fed will just, you know, go further ahead and maybe tighten the monetary policy in a few meetings ahead, as, as the German has said.